Hello and welcome back to Primetime Modelling, a new name and a new build. Um, as you can probably remember from the 633 Squadron Mosquito build, I said that the uh, the Airfix model that I was using, which is the 148th scale Mosquito, uh, had more parts in there that uh, could do with and they could actually almost make a, another Mosquito. Well, here are the parts and uh, as you can see I've started to do a build which uh, it's going to be a quick, well, hopefully a quick and uh, almost dirty build. Uh, going to do something that I uh, haven't tried for quite a few years, in fact since I was a teenager, and that's to actually try and attempt to make a uh, crash landed uh, plane. So taking the cue from the movie, I thought that uh, since I've got all these spare parts, why not give it a go? Now there are a few parts that are missing, but I'll go through what we actually get left in the kit. Obviously two fuselage halves, um, the cockpit interior which uh, half of it is used on the, on the original kit but uh, just with a little bit of scratch building as you can see there just make, making a floor. Nothing too, uh, too fancy because most of this will be covered up by uh, smoke damage and uh, what have you. So just a sort of rough scratch build inside there. Um, the wing tops they're all here, uh, it's just the, uh, the underneath of the wings that uh, are missing, i.e. the outboard and the inboard, uh, especially with the radiators. Uh, propellers, which uh, there are spare ones in the Tamiya 148 scale, so I'll be using those and uh, such like. Now, to enable me how to, to actually get the uh, parts that are missing, what I done was I made uh, some quick and simple plaster of Paris moulds whilst uh, before I'd done the actual first build uh, such as that. I think you can just make that out because it's white and it's very very pale. But uh, ah, there we go. Just made uh, moulds of the parts that, uh, that I'll want to use for this and uh, just by using uh, car filler I was able to uh, fill those in, pull them out and just make some very crude parts which uh, at the end of the day won't make much difference. This is how they come straight out of the mould. Yep, and uh, also done the uh, tail planes as well because they were missing. And uh, so I just made them in two halves. And uh, once they've been sanded and, sa and uh, stuck together, I make a whole kit part. Yep, and uh, as uh, as an example, I've already stuck one half. Now it doesn't matter about these parts being uh, broken, but because uh, uh, a little bit of filler will go a long way. So uh, what I'll do is I'll uh, carry on. I'll do a bit of uh, more scratch building in the cockpit. Once that's done, I'll spray it up and uh, just crudely paint it. It's not like I say going to have to be uh, super detailed because uh, at the end of it. It's going to be a crashed aircraft and uh, hopefully we'll have a lot of smoke damage uh, to show for it. Oh and one other thing was I made uh, some spinners as well for the props which I'll have to uh, bore out and uh, put the uh, propellers in. But that shouldn't be a hard problem. Okay, so we'll see how this carries on. I mean whether this will work or not is another matter because like I said it's been since I was a teenager since I last tried to do something like this and uh, hopefully I've gained a lot more knowledge and techniques and uh, hopefully I'll share them with you. Okay, see you soon.
Okay, we're back. Uh, sorry there was no sound on the last part. Um, downstairs dogs decided to have a barking fit, so uh, quite frankly you didn't need to hear that. Uh, so anyway, carry on and uh, I'll finish the uh, scratch build of the interior of the cockpit. Like I said, nothing too fancy, just uh, the pretty basics and uh, just done a quick paint job inside. I think just make out in there. Just uh, the basics of the canopy and the instrument panels and uh, just a little bit of highlight and uh, also uh, change the profile of the actual front part of the canopy where the uh, bomber canopy will be used there's a spare one in the uh, in the kit so that'll keep it uh, in uh, sort of line with the uh, other 633 squadron build um, also done uh, the other side as well uh, just a quick uh, paint inside and a quick wash now what I will do now is I'll carry on and uh, join the two halves together and uh, clean up uh, the seams as necessary like I say this is all going to be uh, sort of pretty sort of straightforward and uh, just a quick slap together because uh, all the, uh, the good work will be done at the end uh, to make it look uh, as a wreck okay carry on okay well we got the uh, fuselage halves together uh, it's actually went back together a lot quicker and easier than uh, the previous build uh, which was the new tooling parts of the kit uh, but still anyway uh, got those uh, joined together and uh, I've also uh, made a start on making some damage on the uh, on the rear rudder now I don't know if you can there we go a bit better uh, basically what I'm going to try and do is with the aid of some uh, PVA glue and uh, some tissue paper going to simulate the fabric uh, being blown away and uh, hopefully that'll look good but uh, only time will tell when the experiment works or not and uh, whilst I was waiting for the, the fuselage to dry also started putting uh, the other parts of the wings on, got the uh, engine to sell on, on this side, got to tidy it up and then got to make a start on uh, putting uh, the inboard uh, radiator covers and the in wings as well so that's all good, I'll use uh, some epoxy for those because they need to be uh, adjusted to the right angle but uh, yeah so we'll uh, move on and uh, see what happens next okay we're back and uh, as you can see I've now covered the uh, tail with uh, a couple of uh, sheet or layers of uh, tissue paper stuck down with some matte varnish and uh, where I've uh, put the holes I've now split the uh, tissue paper to make it look like that uh, shrapnel has gone through the uh, canvas layers of the of the tail plane now what I will do is I'll push some photographs because this is not coming out at all I will eventually have to get myself a new camera but uh, I'll push some pictures uh, in here so you can actually see close up uh, what I will do is I'll now put some a thin layer of super glue on and let them set uh, so that should make them even firmer so that when it comes to painting and detailing they should withstand it and they won't go all soggy on me so yeah that's that uh, whilst I was waiting for that to dry uh, made a start on uh, putting one of the nacelles on the wings um, as you can see it's not perfect I mean there's some gaps there but uh, that can be easily filled with a bit of filler now I've got to uh, attempt to put the inboard section in do that on the other wings or the other wing and uh, hopefully just with a little bit of uh, touching up and some filing that will be ready then for uh, assembly once we've done uh, all our other details um, I might actually uh, attempt at doing some bullet holes in the fuselage uh, I will look at the uh, online photographs for some reference but um, may even do it the same way as uh, drilling a hole and then putting some uh, tissue paper over the top and then once the uh, actual uh, full painting is done then I will then go in and sort of make the holes look a bit realistic okay so we'll carry on what I'll do is uh, I'll shoot some more more footage um, and then we'll come back with a little bit more of a progress okay let's go
Right, well, just giving that uh, a coat of uh, super glue on the tailplane. Again, not sure you're going to be able to see that, but uh, the first uh, coat has made it a lot stiffer than it was. So again, I'll take another photograph or two. Um, and uh, as you saw in the uh, little montage there, also got the uh, second part of the wing on. Uh, it's not going to be 100% as a, a dipped rather than being uh, or dipped in as opposed to having a slight curve to it but I can live with that so uh, I mean after all it's going to be laying on its belly so you're not going to be able to see a great deal once that's all been uh, set out but uh, if we just put that together that should look okay again I think it's going to have the same sort of uh, fit issue as we did with the other mosquito but because this is going to be a, a dirty build just a quick fill up with super glue and just a little thin thin skimmer filler and that should be good uh, not going to really have to bother about this massive we can just see that uh, I don't quite see it, but there's a massive gap underneath there. But like I say, that's not going to worry. Okay, so we shall move on. Let this dry on the uh, on the wing on the tail plane, and then we'll see what it looks like with a with a little coat of paint on it. Okay. Okay, right. I have to make some apologies. I had to do the the uh, second part of the uh, inner wing uh, off camera because. Uh, it was just so too fiddly that I just couldn't get it into the camera. Um, so but anyway, basically, I put uh, something inside the uh, the hole there, straight in at a parallel, just so that I could lift up the uh, the other inside inside uh, edge. And uh, yep, she's all glued in now. Again, just a little bit of filler on both ends of those. That, that'll sort that out. But as I say we're not too fussed. Uh, glued in the uh, the rear end as well that's slightly buckled but like I say very thin parts only made out of uh, car body filler so uh, but they will do their job now that they're on they're nice and strong so I'll let that all set up properly and uh, then what I'll do is I'll put uh, inside here just a uh, like a thin strip of uh, polystyrene just to uh, just to give that that impression of the radiator being inside there um, like I did on, where are we, that one there, as you can just probably make it out, there we go, that's just basically just a thin strip of styrene in there, okay, right, uh, now whilst uh, I'm waiting say, for that to set up properly, so I can manhandle it, uh, uh, doing the, uh, the actual tail planes themselves, two halves again, again made out of filler, because we didn't have uh, any spares and as you can probably make out they are thin um, again all I'll do is just put a bead of uh, super glue around and uh, if needs be give them a clamp but they should go together nicely after they've been sanded all down or try, or try and get them as flat as possible and uh, yeah so we'll give that a go again I have to lay it onto the work surface and let's uh, see what we can do now I won't go all the way to the edge because this does soak in as you can see it's probably sort of spreading as we speak and uh, I'll just give it a go and then what I'll do is I'll go back around this just uh, gives it an extra bite just a little dollop in the middle there. Right, there's a few spots that I can see that are just sort of going dry. There we go. Right. Let's see how we get on. Now I've got to drop this on nice and straight. OK, 
go. No. Just hoping that you see some glue seeping out of the side there. Oh no, that's right, that's took. Yes. A little bit of clean up around the edges. But uh, I think we can safely say that one's done as well. And there we go. Let's say one slide is slightly bigger than the other, which is great because then we can just file them all nice and neat and uh, shouldn't need to have a great uh, amount of filler on there at all. And uh, so that should end up sort of similar to that one. And uh, after that, uh, we can start putting the, uh, the wings on and the tail planes. And then the next thing will be uh, to do the uh, propellers. Now, I have started just to see how I was going to get on with doing this. But um, basically, the hole from where I had uh, a stick to actually pull the, uh, the, the casting out of the mould uh, sort of is almost central. So what, I'd, what I've done is I've masked off or marked off I should say the, the position of where I want the, uh, the propellers to be and uh, what I will do is just by using a grinder is to actually make the indents you can just make them out even though I've cleaned up the surfaces uh, where I had the uh, masking tape on the master and uh, so that's given us a bit of a good reference and uh, I'll get those put in and then I'll just need to make up a just a round disc just to put on the back to uh, help uh, bring out the bulk and that should be the propellers then good to go so obviously I've got to do that twice um, so yeah so we'll come back uh, after we've uh, let everything settle up and uh, we'll then start thinking about uh, putting the wings on okay